very exciting player who was just signed by the Buffalo Bills that I want to talk about today, and that's none other than two-time gold medal Olympic winning wrestler Gable Stevenson. Some would say he's one of the greatest wrestlers to ever hit the mat. And this is a very interesting signing. I'll be honest with you, totally came out of left field. Most teams are not picking up guys who are adding them as UDFAs, yet alone signing people to a three-year contract. <laughs> so definitely a project player. Um, we're going to talk about a lot of things. Number one, is this feasible? Is this actually going to work out? But also, we're going to talk about 10 players who were in the NFL or some type of pro league who also come from a wrestling background. So this is exciting, man, yet alone. Man, it's Gable Stevenson, man. I don't even watch wrestling like that, and I know who he is, man. Whether it's work, uh, the WWE, or what he's done in the Olympics, or even on the college level. Uh, hey, when someone's so good, you're going to hear certain echoes. So we're going to take and talk about that. We're also going to talk about he had an essay case and what the media is going to try to twist with that. We're, we're going to get into everything. So starting off, let's talk about what he has accomplished. Uh, look, the, we all know college football, there's a thing called the Heisman Trophy. For football players, not not wrestlers or basketball players, it's the Heisman. There's a trophy called uh, the Dan Hodge Trophy Award. Okay, he won it two times, and that's the equivalent to a Heisman Trophy in college wrestling. Now he did come uh, from University of Minnesota. He played for the Golden Gophers. He was very very good. Had a great record. Um, check this out: sixty seven wins and two losses in his whole college career. That's a lot of hitting the mat and slamming people on the mat. And as you see the highlights on my screen right next to me, this dude gets busy and he's agile. He's like a, like a little panther or like a little jaguar, just really agile on his toes. And then he had a freestyle record. Uh, if someone can educate me, I don't know the difference between uh, his college record, freestyle record, what that entails. But he was 40 and 6. So he had six losses there. Uh, he's six foot one, 265, according to Wikipedia. But some articles are saying that he's 275. And then when he wrestled in college, he was 285 pounds. So, and you notice he does a lot of backflips. He loves doing backflips. We see guys like Tyreek Hill doing backflips and all that stuff, but not somebody who has uh, another 100 pounds on Tyreek Hill. <laughs> okay, so, um, and again, this guy, his greatness exceeds college, exceeds his very brief stint in the WWE. It, it exceeds so much that he went to the Olympics and dominated. Wasn't even close. He dominated. Um, what makes this interesting, I read an article that his dream growing up was wrestling. Now, his stint with the WWE, that had ended. That is that is over. And within a month's time, this first time ever putting on cleats was to take and try out for the Buffalo Bills. Very interesting. Is this a cash grab? Is he really passionate about football? We're about to see. But the guy has a work ethic out of this world and I'll be real with you. I want to talk about a few guys. I know I watched a lot of wrestling back in the 90s, early 2000s. And I don't know, man, I think maybe sophomore, junior of high school. I guess I thought I was too cool to watch wrestling. I don't know. Uh, I think wrestling's really awesome, by the way. I just don't watch it as much anymore, if I'm being honest with you. But I, I look at guys like the Big Show. Remember the Big Show? He's big giant of a man, what, seven foot tall or close to it. Uh, I don't know. He's probably like, you know, almost 50 now in his 40s. Um, hopefully I'm not aging him too much. but you can imagine, like, what would that guy look like with, with shoulder pads and a helmet? What would that look like in cleats? And then I look at guys like the Hardy Boys, you know, uh, not to be confused with the book, the wrestlers themselves and how they were doing backflips and super agile and twitchy. Man, you, you look at guys like that and, and you take and you wonder, man. You take and you wonder. Or what about a guy like Kane playing left tackles, big old arms, big, huge frame? I know he's into politics now, but, um, you know, I look at that so you know, Gable Stevenson, this could be a match made in heaven. I want to talk about, and I'm pulling up an article. This is based off of ESPN.com, okay? And the article is titled, WWE Hall of Fame Jeff Jarrett ranks the top 10 wrestlers who played pro football and has names like Roman Reigns and Goldberg. So let's let's get into this article while uh, you guys are watching the highlights on the screen. So in the Atlanta Falcons, he plays nose tackle or D tackle, as we also call it, from 92 to 94, Bill Goldberg. Shout out to his son. He just signed with Coach Prime over in Colorado. He'll be playing there. Um, that, yeah, Bill Goldberg was a man. I mean, that was one of my favorite wrestlers growing up. Then there's Roman Reigns. He used to go by Joe Annoy. Uh, that was a guy. Check this out. He played for the Edmonton Elks 
for 2008 he played d tackle man um he had three starts so very cool um then we had wahoo daniel uh play for the houston oilers broncos jets uh miami dolphins it's my squad there uh lex luger the wrestler his real name is larry full p-f-o-h-l played played some cfl uh played for the usfl in the 80s and yeah that was pretty much about it ron simmons uh, i'm gonna slide through here ernie ladd uh, ernie ladd was a warrior for the Chargers. great player steve mongo mcmichael man this guy played for a long time 13 oh, excuse me 14 years in the nfl he had 95 sacks Again, this is a guy who he was a wrestler. He came from a wrestling background. Okay, big frame. Brian Pillman. There's Moose. Form. Uh, his real name is Quinn uh, Ojinaka. Okay. Then we have Monty Brown, and then one of my favorites on this list is Pac Man Jones. That's right, y'all. Pac Man Jones used to be a huge wrestler. I think he was on a Pat McAfee show. I think he had made some type of reference to it, but I didn't realize how good at wrestling he was. They talk about how hot, how high he can jump and. What I'm saying, guys, and what I'm trying to get at, you know, we've had guys like, you know, the guy who got signed from from Wales uh, to the Kansas City Chiefs. So I did a video on check that out. Great video. It did really well numbers. Um, but people are getting snagged from rugby leagues. And I love seeing wrestlers, man, because wrestlers are some of the best football players I've ever came across. I remember in high school, people would beg me. Uh, shout out to Chris Moretto. We went to high school together, and he would beg me almost on a daily basis, Doug, you got to join the wrestling team. That's how you get your football skills to the next level, man. I'm like, man, I don't want to lose weight and fast and do all that stuff. But, man, Gable Stevenson, man, if he comes to football with that same mindset that he did with wrestling, man, he's going to do really, really good for the Buffalo Bills. Now, three-year contract, he's going to have time to develop. <clears throat> he's going to have time to fail. And we all know fail – not saying I want him to fail, but he's not a time to fail. But failure is is one of the best teachers in life. And he's not have time to accomplish things and learn from his teammates. And man, what, what does it look like? Can you move so agile with all those pads and helmet and, you know, pads on your legs and stuff like that? Right. So and I believe with a team like the Buffalo Bills, he's going to do well. But he has to go through some some hardship. He got never played football before, never played football before but a superior, an absolute superior athlete. Now, 2019, um, just touch on this real briefly, y'all. I don't have any type of evidence here. Uh, there was an SA case, and YouTube will flag or ban, me, ban this video. So it was an SA case where he was accused of, and it rhymes with grape. Um, and it's crazy, man. Uh, he, he, all charges were dropped, didn't have enough evidence. There's some loophole in Minnesota. So there are articles online that are that are bashing Gable Stevenson. I've never heard anything bad about the guy outside of that. And again, I think it's uh without all the evidence, it's unfair to say he he did it. Now, if if it turns out later, hey, I dropped this video this week and two months from now something pops up, then hey man, I dude, I hope his <laughs> I hope his football career ends swiftly. But obviously, people are looking at Bill, the Buffalo Bills with Matt Ariza. Uh, it was from two years ago. He had that whole thing that go on, which is, um, you know, I, I remember doing a video on that and just looking at the text messages like, wow, it was a lot. And it turns out he was not guilty. Right. So I think a society <clears throat> not to get too deep here, but society, we automatically believe the woman. And um, I, I think there, there has to be an investigation. Right. So because, hey, just like men lie, women also lie, too. And and I'm just going to leave that at that. that. That's another beast. And again, if he did do it, I hope justice is served. Uh, I hope it gets exposed is what I'm trying to say. I know the case is pretty much over. So I'll I'll leave that at that, man. But this guy, y'all, again, he's six foot one, 275, two-time Olympic gold medal champion. Um, he, he went to the Olympics and balled out, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And his long career, 67 and two in college and 40 and six in freestyle. Never play football, man. But this could be something great. This could be something fantastic, man. We've had, um, you know, other people come from other countries who, who came and and they, they made an NFL team and they balled out. They made the most of their opportunity. And we've also seen it where, hey, man, it really didn't work out. You know what I mean? Of course, we think of like Brock Lesnar and stuff like that. Whereas, like, man, had he just dedicated, he would have been a great NFL player. I know it, right? And he made he made some plays. There's a few highlights on the internet. But anywho, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I am not too familiar with the wrestling world, so I had to do a lot of research on this guy. But I'm excited for the Buffalo Bills. Not too excited, 
because y'all know what time it is. I'm a Miami Dolphins fan. That's my favorite team. So I, I, I get a little upset with these kind of signings, man. But Mr. Stevenson, if you're watching this video, man, I'm rooting for you, bro. I actually hope you do really, really well. Um, it, it's it's going to get tough. You're going to you're gonna go through some stuff. It's a, it's a whole new world. You know what I mean? But um, I, I, I bet if – now, I don't know him personally not to put words in, words in his mouth – you know, I, I bet he loves the physicality of football, the, the 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 feeling of hitting the quarterback in the backfield. You know what I mean? And making a big play. And you look up at the stands and everybody's yelling your name. <laughs> that is just a, a wonderful, wonderful moment. You know what I mean? I remember having those moments in high school and uh, very briefly in college where I played at. Um, but anyway, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Hit that subscribe button that helps the channel to grow. Uh, you guys know me for my NFL draft content. The draft is over. Y'all know what it is, but I'll be having more fun videos like this throughout the off season. And then uh, throughout the regular season, I cover all 32 NFL teams. So really just big news stories and stuff like that. And I always do my best to interact with you guys in the comment section. And then there will be a little sprinkle of some fantasy football in there. You know, I'm going to get into some shenanigans, see whose feathers I can ruffle this year. So God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Remember, Jesus loves you and go do something nice for somebody. Thank you for watching another episode of The Touchdown with Doug Smith, where we have exclusive NFL content and exclusive NFL interviews. Be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Follow us on social media. See you on the next one.